Hi, this is Coach RJ. Let me share to you the onboard training regarding emergency drills and the topic of this drill focus on the annual ship to shore drill in correlation with office personnel who is in charge to communicate through the master when it comes to ship to shore drill the objective of the drill is to ensure effectiveness response from ship to shore in case of emergency this is the scenario vessel encountered Owas balloon deck due to the effort of one AB and to confirm that there's no Owas bill escape overboard to take a better look in the ship side he suddenly fell overboard so I'll give you the flow of the drill and this is how it goes during transferring operation for the preparation of forthcoming bunkering operation in Fujairah due to the negligent monitoring of the said operations there's an overflow from the tank vent heads that goes unnoticed until oil gets spilled on deck and it's observed by the officer of the bridge watch immediately reported in the engine room who in turn sees the operation subsequently order his lookout able to take swiftly go to the main deck and check that all scupper plugs are firmly in place and no oil spill has escaped overboard and to take a better look on the ship's side in order to ensure no droplets exceed, he slips and fell overboard. Officer of bridge was hail man overboard and threw the nearest lifeboat to the mark position of man overboard. Two minutes later, officer of the watch on the bridge immediately releases man overboard life boy and activate man overboard on GPS and this plot the position. Then a general alarm sounded, followed by a public address man overboard three times. And then all crew immediately proceed to their respective station and a mastering conducted and all accounted for except the duty AB who fell overboard. Then master contact the DPA that one AB fell overboard during checking in the set side for all droplets. Then master order officer of the watch to take the record of time, position, report to the nearest MRCC, followed by VHF broadcasting on channel 16 and 70. That man overboard three times is specifying time and position of man overboard. Then hoisted signals flag Oscar and then post extra lookout on the bridge. 1216 master call engine room team and advise engine ready for maneuvering. A master carried out Williamson third towards the side which man is folding and carried out the search pattern to locate the position of the victim. Look out on the bridge reported to the master victim located starboard side two degrees about half mile and master immediately informed rescue team that the victim already sighted and master advice to prepare for rescue operation. Rescue team immediately prepare rescue boat for launching and rescue 
boat successfully launched through the water and recovered the victim immediately. Put in the stretcher, check vital sign, apply necessary first aid to the victim and bring to the hospital for his recovery. And all removal and support team continues the cleanup operation as per soccer on deck. The rescue team reported to the master that the victim is already recovered, conscious, already applied for his aid, checked vital sign, and put in the hospital. Power removal team and supporting team reported to the master that oil spill is already contained and no oil spill fell overboard. And the master called the DPA informing that oil spill is already contained and man overboard already recovered. Check fatal sign, applies first aid, bring in the hospital for continuous monitoring and observation for his recovery. And then the master ordered to officer of the watch to broadcast on VHF's channel 16 that man overboard already recover, same as well in the nearest MRCC. And the master ordered all crew to proceed to master station for additional debriefing and conduct short discussion regarding the result of the drill and then master dismiss the drill. All right, so that is the flow of the ship to shore drill that we have. And then let's proceed to the picture. Okay, so shovel to ship. Our ship to shore drill photos so just observe and how we apply the drill on board. Okay, this is the mastering station. This is the AB who plays immediately the scupper plug and the rest of the team you know, uh, doing their part during the uh, soap pip drill. Okay, so everyone must be involved in the soap pip or mitigation of the overspill on deck. And then of course during the um, uh, one person overboard and then the bridge team should do the immediate action as well. Okay? And this is to release the man overboard, life boy, and look out, and then of course in, on the bridge team um, in the man overboard uh, sign in the ICDES and then calling of each app on to the channel 1670 and uh, relay the urgency of the emergency okay and uh, the rescue operation team uh, prepare for the launching okay the enclosed lifeboat and uh, do their part to rescue as soon as possible the man overboard. In this case, we use the dummy, okay? And then when the person was already re recovered, then immediately the person is placed in the stretchers and transferred to the hospital for further examinations okay checking for vital signs and for his recovery all right then that's the uh, the drill completed then in that case of course prior to the drill we have the briefing and after the drill of course we carried out the debriefing all right so um, that's it um okay Hello mates, uh, this is an example of how we carried out the onboard training. I hope that you appreciate or you get the idea okay, of how a ship to shore drill is completed on board. Okay, this is Coach RG once again. Thank you for watching. Bye.